Hi, this is James from TracyMatt.co.uk, and we're going to do a, uh, a very quick comparison uh, of all the uh, the BlackBerry 7 devices that are now currently on the market. Or well, I say all of them. There's one that I'm missing. Um, we're going to start here with the Curve 9360, um, which is a kind of the, the 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 low end BlackBerry here in the UK. You could pick this up for uh, between 200 and 250 pounds on pay as you go. Um, on contract, so you can probably get this for about 20 quid a month. So essentially, although we've done unboxing videos for, for all of these devices I'm about to show you, I thought it'd be nice to do a, uh, just a, a comparison um, of them all in case you are looking to, uh, to, to, to get a new BlackBerry. Now essentially they all run the, the same operating system, BlackBerry 7, um, obviously with the curve here being a low end one, we get the uh, traditional curve uh, keyboard where the uh, the keys are slightly set more apart. They're quite they're not quite as luxurious, although they still uh, um, they're still fantastic to type on. There's no doubt about that. Um, we obviously don't get a touch screen with this uh, w with the curve, but what we do get now compared to previous curves is we get a nice sleek body. It feels nice in the hand. Uh, we get a faster processor, which makes BlackBerry 7 uh, run, a, run a lot better on it. Um, all in all, a rather nice handset. Um, so, I thought the uh, the best one to compare this to would be the, the latest addition to the Bold range, which is the 9900, which, uh, which the battery has just died on, so I can't show you the screen, unfortunately. Um, quite clearly, there's a price difference between these, but that's because they are... Uh, one's a low-end device, one's a, um, a pretty high-end device. We, uh, on the bold 9790, uh, we, we get a 1 gigahertz processor. Um, in terms of size, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're reasonably similar. I think the bold is uh, very slightly thicker. We get a nice metal back cover uh, on, on the bold, which certainly gives it a, a, a nice robust feel. Uh, we get the... Um, Traditional bold keyboard, which uh, if we can put those side by side. You can uh, you can you can see the difference. It's certainly more luxurious typing on the bold. Um, the other difference here that we get with the new bold is the uh, the style of the keys. As you can see on the bold, we have the four separate keys, whereas on the uh, on the curve, um, although they are four separate keys, they're kind of they they they're kind of made up of of one piece of plastic. Um, so we get better specs on the bold. There's no doubt about it. It's a better phone. It's a better quality phone. It's an, it's a it's a it's a nicer phone. We get a better camera. Um, yeah. So if you're looking to to, to get one of these two, ooh, which one to get? That is the question. So I suppose the next comparison would be the bold 9790 against the flagship the 9900, and as you can see. We get we get a little bit of uh, um, size difference here. The 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 9900 is clearly bigger. Um, keyboard design is is identical, although obviously it's bigger, which makes typing a, a lot more easier. As I say, the software this is the same. The the BlackBerry 7 does run slightly better on the 9900 uh, due to it having the, the one gigahertz processor. Uh, we don't get the metal back cover, we get a nice plastic back cover on here, but it certainly feels uh, very nice. One downside to the 9900 that I feel compared to the uh, 9790 is on the 9900, they've, uh, they, for some reason, Research in Motion decided to scrap the, the autofocus camera. So the camera on the, uh, on the um, all the other devices I'm going to show you is, uh, is actually better, which is a bit of a shame considering this is the flagship device. Um, this, the 9900, is definitely uh, my BlackBerry of choice. It's the one I like using the most. It feels great in the hand. Um, typing on it is fantastic. Obviously, we, we get the touch screen, the same as we do on the uh, 9790. Uh, but because the screen is bigger, um, it, it, it makes using the touch screen uh, a, a little bit more, uh, a little more, a little bit more enjoyable. Let's just um, go to a, a website to demonstrate. We'll go to the uh, my local local newspaper, and there we go. And obviously, you can use the trackpad to navigate if you want to, and you can also use the trackpad for uh, 
um, for, for, for zooming in like so but we can also use pinch to zoom and on the 9900 uh, I tend to actually use pinch to zoom quite a lot or we can we can double tap as well so uh, that, that's the top of the range one next to compare we have a couple of torches First one being the 9810, which was the successor to the uh, to the 9800. Again, this is now running uh, BlackBerry 7. Um, we get a uh, a slightly different designed uh, back cover. It's uh, it's silver and the bezel is silver. This time, uh, again, the the operating system is identical. So uh, we have the the 1.2 gigahertz processor in here. Um, so it it runs very well, nice and smooth. Certainly not as laggy as the original uh, Torch 9800 was. This is a quite a beauty. Uh, keyboard wise, um, the keyboard I suppose it most re it most resembles the uh, uh, the bold. However, due to the um, due to the sliding mechanics required, the the keys are kind of flatter, which I find isn't quite as easy to type on. However, it's it's still nice to type on. Uh, and you do get accustomed to it, but because I'm in the lucky position of um, having the choice of using whatever BlackBerry I want, I, 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 I tend to prefer the bold. So the other torch option we've got now is the um, 9860, uh, which is the, uh, the touchscreen one. Once again, we get a nice metal back cover on here, which certainly makes it feel good. Uh, again, on both torches, we get the autofocus camera. Um, obviously, the I suppose one downside to, to using the uh, um, this particular torch is we 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 don't get a uh, um, hardware keyboard, so it's, it's all done on screen. Um, it works in both land, landscape and portrait. And to start with, it's a it's 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 a it is a bit weird using it, but um, you soon get used to it. So I think this one is perfectly suited for um, BlackBerry users that uh, are heavily into their media, listening to music, watching videos, um, taking photographs and looking at photos. And uh, let's just see if we can find the media gallery. And there should be some preloaded pictures on here. And as you can see, scrolling through those nice and fast pinch the zoom works so if you're into taking photographs and showing off, off to your friends uh, yeah this is a, a, a pretty good experience now the only one I haven't got at the BlackBerry 7 range is the, uh, the, 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 the curved touch which is the 9380 um, Vince has recently done the review for that and hasn't sent it back to me just yet, so I haven't got that one to show you. But we do have one more option, um, which we unboxed uh, uh, just a, a couple of weeks ago, and that's this bad boy. <laughs> if you've got a spare £1,275, you can get the, uh, the Porsche-designed uh, BlackBerry Bold, which essentially, it is the 9900, uh, but in a new shell. Um, everything about the design is pretty much different, the keyboard is different. Uh, in my opinion, it's certainly not as nice to type on as the uh, 9900, but if you can afford it, if you want to look different and if you want to look snazzy, then, uh, uh, you know, this is the one to go for. Word on the street, the Premier Footballers are loving this. Uh, they're popping down to Harrods and uh, and picking this one up. Um, yeah, um, I'm a bit scared of taking this one out in case I scratch it, <laughs> to be totally honest with you. So, um, yeah, so in terms of uh, the... Uh, the BlackBerry 7 devices that are on the market they're, they're really the options we have at the moment and uh, you know if you if you're looking to get one which one you get you know it's it, it all comes down to personal preference I think the best thing to do is uh, get into the shops have a go of them well, probably, pr probably 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 not this one though um, but certainly uh, these ones get into the shops have a go Test out the keyboards on them and uh, uh, and see which one uh, sort of best suits your needs. Hope that helps anyway. And uh, yeah, if you're looking to get a BlackBerry, welcome to Team BlackBerry. See you later.